Today is probably going to be our hardest day here in Ushuaia. Uh, there's just a lot of glow that we need to get out. And to be honest, it's not going to be easy. So I'm really trusting in the Lord and having faith that He's going to provide a way and give us the energy and, and swiftness to reach this goal. Um, but yeah, it's not going to be easy. Imagine coming to the southernmost city in the world and attempting to get out 100,000 tracks. That is exactly what we're going to be doing over the course of the next week. The reason we came to Ushuaia is because when we do a mission trip with GLOW, we want to go to places that are awesome. And what I mean by that is places that are super remote, places that have hardly any Adventist presence, or places where there's just even a lot of people that are seeking spiritual truths. And Ushuaia is awesome. I mean, there's just a few small churches down here. They oftentimes get neglected, and we get to come down here and just help them spread the gospel throughout their local communities. I think, you know, glow tracks in itself is powerful. I think they can reach millions of people that we ourselves as individuals can't reach. They hold so much power. Yes, so here we have three different tracks. Um, we have one that says, Porque voy a iglesia en sábado, why do I go to church on Saturday? Which just gives you a brief explanation of why, as a seven day Adventist, we go to church on sa Sabbath, Saturday. We have another track here that says, Pasa, Pasos para, para su salud, which talks about health. And then we have another one, which is called El Fin del Mundo, The End of the World. So this is our glow bag. With this bag, we contain all, as much as we can carry of glow in here. But what we like to do is have two of the glow, as well as one. And so this has all three of the glow that we are distributing. In situations like this, where you're doing mass distribution, you know, like the sower sowing the seeds on the field, um, it's it's very advantageous to have small literature, small literature because you can carry a lot um, because it's very inexpensive if somebody discards it um, and also the, the tracks lead to books as well they're like I think Ellen White says little wedges you know and they can lead to larger publications the back of each one of these tracks advertises a, a book that people can also get I truly believe that while we're out here, while I'm doing ministry, you know, helping others, you know, hear about the gospel or bring a revival, it truly brings a revival in my own life and I feel deeply impacted by it because I myself feel as though I'm being uplifted by what I see. I, we experience powerful testimonies that we see God's hand at work firsthand and you just can't help but be touched by it. Eh, mi sueño, uno de mis sueños era ser misionera y bueno, se ha presentado esta oportunidad eh, de que sea en mi país en, y más acá en Ushuaia que realmente es un lugar hermoso y la gente también muy, muy buena entonces bueno, eso, creo que Dios es el que maneja los tiempos maneja cada situación, y cada circunstancia y creo que he sido una bendecida y me siento muy mimada por eso. To, between today and tomorrow, we need to get out 39,600 tracks with uh, our now seven people. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, so that translates to roughly 28 packs per person per day. So this is a pack, 2,800 tracks per person per day. This is the this is the territory that we're going to be working today. 
It's uh, we're going to be doing the downtown section yep. of uh, Ushuaia, which is where you have a lot of the touristy kind of stuff. People come in with um, boats and ships and stuff, and if you have tourists, they're basically there. Yeah, because of various circumstances, we're only having about four and a half hours <coughs> of outreach time today. <laughs> so they're going to have to crank to get those things out. Yeah, so right now we're on our first drop of the day and we're passing out the glow tracks and the Sabbath, health, and then the second coming. And we're, or as you can see, I was doing these cars, glowing up the cars and hopefully getting people as I go. So in general, I would consider myself an introverted person. Um, I'm not anti-social or anything, but I do definitely struggle like maybe like starting a conversation sometimes or just approaching people. But I think definitely the Holy Spirit has really guided me with doing God's work and being a missionary, you know, whether that was being youth rush or being here um, all the way in Argentina. You know, my Spanish, I speak Spanish, it's not perfect, but you know, I feel like my Spanish is surprisingly better when doing this work for some reason. So like I said, I just believe the Holy Spirit really guides us when communicating with people, with doing God's work. And overall, um, you know, people have been very receptive. I've been doing it and um, continue to keep doing it until we reach our goal. Well, so today is going to be like a really uh, cram uh, day, crammed day, um, because on Sabbath, we did not have a full day of outreach because of church. And yesterday, we also um, had a less than optimal day because we went to territory in the morning that we thought was gonna be really good in terms of the amount of people and cars there, but because it was a Sunday, it ended up not being that good. So basically part of the morning was, uh, yeah, we, we were putting out tracks quite slowly. So <laughs> the, the result is that basically we have about half of our inventory left uh, for a period that was supposed to be like two and a half days. Now we need to squeeze that into one day, so it's really stretching us. Yeah, it's gonna be crazy, but we're, we're gonna aim for it. I honestly don't know how we're gonna do it. We looked at so many options of, you know, where to reach the most people, uh, but we decided to go back uh, to downtown Ushuaia and do the parking lots. Uh, but like I said before, I really don't know how we're gonna get this goal, but uh, with God, all things are possible. So I'm really trusting in the Lord and having faith that He's gonna provide a way and give us the energy and, and swiftness to reach this goal. Um, but yeah, it's not gonna be easy. I have about 12 packs um, in my bag currently. My goal is to get 24 packs out today. So at the moment, I'm about to finish my first pack. We just started the day, uh, but hopefully I'm able to finish all 24 packs. Through God's grace, it's gonna be a lot, it's gonna be hard. Uh, so we just gotta keep working and praying and praying and working. So hopefully we get all of it done today. We see many cars, and so it's been going really well just because we've been able to pass out a ton of them. I've passed out six packets already, and it's been close to an hour already, and so, we're doing really good, very pumped. <laughs> so at first, I completely doubted. I was terrified that we wouldn't even get it out. But I think now being out here and really seeing that there is a lot of people, a lot of people and cars, I do think it is possible. <laughs> we may take a little bit home though. <laughs> it's time, man. People are looking around. They're seeing what's going on with COVID. They're seeing what's going on with these natural disasters droughts, tornadoes, whatever. And uh, they're intelligent, just like us. They think, what's going on? What's going on? And uh, the Bible has something to say about it. So that's why we're out here passing out these tracks. One of the easiest ways to get the message is to give it in literature. I can't speak Spanish very well, but these pamphlets, they say it all. You know, at the very end of the day, uh, we finished around 
I believe it was 8 o'clock. We were working this one strip of businesses where there's a lot of people, a lot of cars. And it was this amazing moment where we all came together um, and passing out glow after glow until we finally passed out our last glow. And it was an amazing feeling knowing that we finished this super big goal with only six people. To somebody who is thinking about coming to this trip, I would say don't even think about it twice, just come. This experience truly is one that is life changing and it's so beautiful to just see how you can impact somebody else's life, but truly how your own life can be impacted too. So this mission trip that we're doing down here to the southern tip of the world in Ushuaia, Argentina is just the beginning. In fact, next year we are working with the Bolivian Union to distribute three million tracks in one day. And just prior to that, we're gonna have a week-long outreach where we're gonna be going and passing out literature to several villages that have no Adventist presence. After that, in the year 2024, we're planning the single largest distribution of literature in the history of the Adventist Church. We're working with the three unions in the Philippines to distribute 50 million tracts in one day. And again, just prior to that mass distribution, we're gonna have a team coming together into the Philippines to distribute literature all throughout the country. So if you're interested in learning more information about these mission trips and others that GLOW is putting together, you can visit our website, glowmissiontrips.org, where you can register and you can learn all kinds of information. We'll see you out on the front lines.